A Carolina investigation discovers a Minnesota city paying its prosecutor what amounts to an unusual bonus for getting convictions. It is part of our continuing investigation into the misuse of court fines that are supposed to go to combating sexual exploitation. Here's investigative reporter AJ Legault with the latest findings in his series, A Failure to Fine. October 28th, 2013, inside this Mounds View Motel, 19 men were arrested in a prostitution sting, much like this other one that CARE 11 cameras were allowed to film. But what happened next when the defendants went to court in Mounds View and how it relates to money allegedly given to this church is now raising serious questions. There's no reasonable explanation for this. We asked U of M professor and former chief White House ethics lawyer Richard Painter to review what we uncovered. That is unheard of in the United States. We do not allow that. It is considered unethical. To understand what we found Mounds View doing, you have to know Minnesota law requires convicted sex buyers and traffickers to pay a special fine called a prostitution assessment. The law mandates 40% of the fine goes to the police and 20% to the prosecuting agency to be used to combat sexual exploitation. The remaining 40% to service organizations that provide care for sexually exploited youth. Our previous investigation discovered statewide at least $34,000 of this fine cash was missing, misplaced, or misused. But what is happening here in Mounds View is unique. Our investigation discovered the money that is supposed to be used to combat sexual exploitation was instead paid out in what amounts to a bonus to a private contractor. Like many cities in Minnesota, Mounds View does not have its own prosecutor's office. Instead, they have contracts with private attorneys like Tom Hughes to serve as city prosecutors. Hughes is paid a monthly retainer to handle cases, but on top of that, records obtained by CARE 11 show when defendants from that prostitution sting at the motel were convicted and hit with the assessment fines, Mounds View cut checks for 20% of the fines, a total of $1,380, to Tom Hughes. Instead of ensuring the money was used to combat sexual exploitation, Mounds View included it as taxed income paid to Hughes. We do not expect the prosecutors shall be paid a bounty for the cases that they win. A bounty? This is indeed a bounty when the, when the prosecutor is paid a percentage of the fine. What we've uncovered in Mounds View could create motive for prosecutors to obtain wrongful convictions in order to pocket cash, says ACLU of Minnesota Legislative Director Ben Feist. There's the potential for all sorts of abuse and all sorts of problems. We wanted to talk with the city leaders, but Mounds View's mayor, Carol Mueller, and city administrator, Niall Zickman, refused to be interviewed. Instead, sending a lengthy email which states in part, the city distributed a percentage of the assessment to its prosecuting agency, pursuant to the plain wording of the statute, and it was never intended to be a bonus for convictions obtained by the city's prosecuting attorney. And that's wrong. Is a private attorney with a contract to prosecute an agency? No. They are, they are a private attorney with a contract. They are in no way a government agency. State Representative and former prosecutor John Lesh says the prosecuting agency responsible for this public money is the city itself and Moundsview is dangerously misinterpreting the law. When someone has a financial incentive to make sure that you're guilty, that casts into doubt the entire constitutional system of rights that we have. Carol Levin asked Tom Hughes for an interview to discuss what happened to the prostitution fine money that, by law, is supposed to be used to combat sexual exploitation. To date, he's not agreed to meet with us, but wrote in an email he gave the public money from Moundsview to his St. Paul Church, Assumption Parish. Is this an ethical use of those funds? No, this, this is not an ethical use of the funds. It is not to be paid over to the prosecutor as compensation and then used at the prosecutor's discretion for charitable donations. Hughes is no longer the prosecutor in Mounds View, but Professor Painter thinks he needs to repay this money so it can be used for its legally mandated purpose, combating sex trafficking, and that the state bar needs to open an ethics investigation, guys. I understand the argument for sure, but do you think this was something that was willfully done wrong or just misinterpreted on the part of the city? 
The city says it was a good faith interpretation mm -hmm. of the law. Now the legal experts we say say, say any not. attorney should know you can't receive a portion of fines from convictions right. because that just opens Pandora's box. Sure. Speaking of Pandora's box, it seems the more you dig on this story, the more you're finding. Yeah, I mean, we started out when we found that judges uh, across the state are waiving this fine that's supposed to be mandatory and helping victims of sex trafficking. And then we found a bunch of the money is just missing, misplaced, and misused when the judges actually do order it. Now, this. Well, keep it up. All right, thanks. And you can thanks. catch all of our reporting on this issue on care11.com on the investigations page. Very awesome. good. Thanks, AJ. And if you have something you'd like AJ and the I-Team to look into, you can send an email to investigations at care11.com.